Hey there, cats and kitties. I'm the Blues Man and Sexy Blues. It's going to be a brief little review for the DC Comics New 52, issue number one of Red Lanterns. I actually bought this book late, which is why the <laughs> review for it is going to be so late here. But uh, I got it after issue two was out, and I have them both now. Read them back to back. Um, recommended by a friend on YouTube, Mike Aqua Magnus. Check him out. He does reviews as well. But uh, a very cool book. And this essentially starts us off. If you uh, you know if you're familiar at all with the Green Lantern thing, uh, many different emotions are represented by the color spectrum. And uh, in this particular case. This is Red Lanterns, and it is primarily rage and vengeance and all of those sort of primordial emotions. And uh, we start off with these big, blue, brutish alien guys torturing this little alien, uh, getting pleasure out of it. And they are promptly attacked by Red Lantern Dexstar, who is like a, you know, cat, a feline. And uh, he gets his tail in a sort of twist when they fight back and then uh, it's up to his master I guess you could say Atrocitus the main you know I guess anti-hero of this book uh, to come in and save him and then he decides to after taking care of the you know blue aliens uh, return back to the planet where he's kind of stationed his crew of red lanterns is malt and uh, he decides to relate sort of the emotions he's carrying he's starting to have doubts about the rage and the vengeance and that whole side of things he's feeling it diminish within him and he's not quite sure why and uh, we get a little insight into his history his home planet had been attacked by uh, what he refers to as a mad guardian called Krona whose body he actually keeps preserved on this planet where he's stationed and uh, we get a little insight into the rest of his crew not necessarily you know, uh, they're, they're all kind of dumbed down. He's like the one with the intelligence, and they're just, they follow along. They feel the rage, and they do what he says. Uh, although there is a female Red Lantern called Bleeze, who seems to be actually challenging him, even though she doesn't seem to have his level of intelligence. But uh, essentially, he begs, you know, the gods or the universe, whatever, after tearing apart this uh, corpse and ripping its blood out, to give him that rage, give him that, you know, sense, what am I to do uh, from this point on? And he, you know, we get some earth scenes where people are fighting between themselves and everything, and he feels that rage anew by the end of the issue. So uh, it's really, really cool. I, I didn't think I would get in, as into it as I have. To show a page in the piece, the one that made me want to buy it, is Dexstar flying toward that alien ship. Uh, nice two-page spread of him, you know, spitting blood, feeling the rage, and about to wreak havoc on those aliens, torturing other aliens. And uh, really cool book. I'm going to give this four out of five, and uh, I suggest you check it out if you're interested. So that's all I have to say on it, and I'll catch you later. Peace.